But now, we go into one of the more infamous levels from the HD version. This is Sky Road. It has some reasons for infamy here. Very different ones though. Can I be your sidekick? What? Shut up! What kind of question is that? I didn't Please, I just I need friends. Might be better to work for you than Eggman. Hello, I'm sitting right here, you know. <laughs> oh. What happens, I won't fail again. I will save Tails. It's stuff like that that makes me want to be inside. <laughs> Tails. Auburn Cuba were one of the better things to have stuck around from the meta era, I'll say. Well, I say stuck around. They got a name dropping Frontiers. They didn't get a proper appearance. But as for the actual gameplay in Sky Road, we get Laser back from Colors. This one works pretty much the same way it did in Colors, so there's not really much to worry about there. I'll try not to get stuck onto the walls and show it off. But yeah, Sky Road is basically a kind of grab bag with all the level themes that they either didn't use much of or didn't use at all from the HD version that they've just sort of planted in here. Of course, after tormenting us with them in Silent Forest, they had to get a little bit more use out of the slices and that kind of shot me all over the place there. It may be a different kind of dimps game, but it's still a dimps game at the end of the day. And it's been so long since Dimps worked on anything, I kind of miss them a little bit, you know? Because I think this was probably the weakest of Dimps' games. Like, if I were to make a tier list of them, this would be, like, at the absolute bottom. They did also have some genuine good games that I kind of think... Like, a mid-tier Dimps game would be above superstars i'll say that because like superstars i played it i didn't actually get around to beating it because i just found it kind of i found it kind of depressing honestly it was like such a bland game it, was, it kind of almost felt like a full length sonic 4 which sonic 4 from dimps i kind i feel like benefits like both of the episodes benefit from being too short to outstay their welcome but when you've got, like, say, a three-hour game of that, it's like, after a while, I'm, I'm good. My tolerance for the bullshit has kind of worn out. Laser! Let's see, is there any benefit to using laser here? Yes, there is. Cool. Now I need to just get back up. <laughs> I should get rid of him, because he is going to be a problem. So yeah, if you were wondering why the sky level has a casino in it, well, it makes just as much sense to as in the HD game where the ice level has a casino in it for some reason. <laughs> this isn't exactly terrible casino music, but I feel like the thing with Sonic Casino levels is their themes are always going to be compared to Casino Night. And your piece of music, your Casino song, is not going to hold a candle to Casino Night. It's just like, that is the iconic Casino level song. And, you know, this is just, it's a bit generic by comparison. I think Sonoris kind of spoiled us a bit with the 3DS version of Generations when he had that like big band version of Casino Night like with proper live instrumentation and everything rather than just being sequenced it, it just sounds so good I am noticing a bit of a trend with Sonic Lost World levels in that a lot of the time it's like what's here isn't this isn't necessarily awful, but a lot of the time it makes me wish I was playing a different Sonic game. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll take out the egg pool that way. Um, this is something that I wouldn't necessarily mind a bit of feedback on, actually, come to think of it, because I've 
I've noticed a lot of the time when I do LPs of games that have like multiple versions, like this say has the 3DS and the Wii U version, I tend to compare things a lot. And I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not sure whether that's the kind of thing that people would get necessarily get tired of. Like, if it is becoming a problem for anyone watching, let me know and I'll try to tone it down for future playthroughs. But if it's something you like at the same time, also let me know. Because then, like, I'll know that that's something that people like from me. Because the thing is, I know that when it comes to, like, say, essay writing, it's usually considered in poor form to have some kind of assumed knowledge. Like, if there's something that isn't being directly covered by the piece in question, it's good practice to provide that context. And I'm not sure whether that's something you guys would prefer that I do with these videos too. And like, I'm not necessarily skipping context, but also I realise that to be able to appreciate what I'm saying, it does sort of add another block in the way and I don't really want to alienate someone who maybe isn't as familiar with the series as I am. I'll... I realise that a long term Sonic fan making a Let's Play is going to have a bit of a filter because I'm just going to offhandedly talk about things that you know you kind of have to have been here for a while to get but I kind of want to also be considerate of what audience I have. I've noticed this channel's been growing quite a bit over the last couple of months and so I kind of do need to be considerate of that. I thought that was going to throw me into a pit but there was thankfully something there to catch me. Up we go. Please. <laughs> oh. This is not the worst thing we will see from Clouds and Sky Road. I'll say that right now. I think it's Zone 3 that's really bad. Uh, but again, like that was another part where I thought I'd just throw myself into a pit. God damn. <laughs> this level's kind of terrifying in parts. And those things that spin you in circles. They're a typical Sonic gimmick. We've had that count. That was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea, kick doing that kick there. <laughs> can I save it? Yes, I can. Thankfully, it respawns. But what I was going to say is that them things that you spin around and jump on, or jump off of even, I feel like they work better here than they did in Scrap Brain. A scrap brain from Sonic 1, that was another that was another big cause of re-recording when I was recording Sonic Origins Plus, because oh boy, they like setting off my perfectionism when I'm recording footage and it feels like I am either spending too long on the thing that you run in circles around or I jump off of one of them and it throws me into spikes or something like that for all the complaints you can have about modern Sonic and like Dimp Sonic and whatnot, some of those problems have kind of been around for a while. Is that a red ring there that... Okay, so what is that spring there for? I don't know, but if there's a capsule, I'll take it. <laughs> a lot of Sonic's quirks have kind of been grandfathered in, and I don't mean this to be a... Sonic was always bad because I disagree with that wholeheartedly I would say that Sonic has been inconsistent but consistent <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> like the Sonic series has a lot of bad games but it also has a lot of my favorite video games of all time so I really don't care to humor the Sonic was never good journalist bullshit oh no it's not act three it might be this one that's the problem one that I was thinking of because I think this is the one where it goes a bit too Katamari Damacy for my liking. I've still never played those games, but I've seen footage of them and they look fun in that context. It's just trying to translate that gameplay into a wisp 
in a Sonic game, not a good thing. And I have now realised that the kick is a bad idea on this because it just gives them an opportunity to fire their rocket at you. I don't know how the robots manage to get fatter each time you hit them. I don't think robot weight kind of works like that. Oh god, that was some that was a frame drop on half there, Jesus Christ. Like, this game's mostly consistent, but when it's trying to do shit like that, it's kind of asking a lot of the 3DS right now. <laughs> I wonder if anything actually has unlocked for me. I I'm seeing a lot of things. Oh I can Oh, asteroid time. We dealt a little bit with the asteroid earlier on, but this is where it becomes kind of a big deal. For better or worse, mostly worse. Because as you're getting bigger, you also need to make sure that you're keeping it topped up. So, the way this level works, you need to build the asteroid gauge and then you get fired up and you need to keep the asteroid powered up enough to be able to fly long distances and this level is one hell of a new player trap because I have watched let's plays and streams and whatnot of this game where people have spent over half an hour in this level and when you familiarise yourself with the mechanics it becomes kind of obvious why. The camera is just one of the many, many problems here. But I will say a little trick that started working well for me in my first playthrough of this is to try and regularly touch actual solid ground. Because what that does is that resets your number of jumps, that resets your double jump which means that if one of your jumps goes a bit haywire you have that extra chance to kind of save yourself but this section here is where it can get really fucky if you're not careful I did that part in one hit I was not expecting to do that part in one hit <laughs> I don't know where it's sending me now though, okay. And then we transition back to Windy Hill for some reason. <laughs> no, I need more asteroid, okay. Hopefully the clouds will help me, the clouds will save me. I'm not sure how you actually get that red ring unless you have to like come in from underneath the thing. Oh my god. No, I weren't going to make that one, but this would be a really good time to not have ship depth perception. <laughs> this run's going too well. There's going to be something that fucks me over. What am I going to stupidly jump into? I'm also not sure where I'm going, but... I should probably figure out where I'm going before trying to asteroid. No, I'm just going in circles here, so maybe I do need to asteroid and hope for the best. I can probably farm asteroid from the things flying around. If they actually come near me, that is. Let's try and farm it and hopefully that will work as intended. Oh, I see now that in the background there, they just formed in the clouds that I need to use. But yeah, if I farm it, actually farming it just ain't going to work. So let's get a fresh one and then make my way over. I need to farm it. <laughs> Never mind, ignore what I was saying. Alright, that didn't give me the boost up, but it did sort of fatten me up a little bit, fatten up my asteroid. We're off the ground! And there we go!
I was not expecting that run to go anywhere near that well. Holy fucking shit. Like I was saying, I've seen people take like half an hour on this level. But... Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to let you in on a little something. Uh, I know it's not good form to admit, but... Earlier on today, I was recording the... Uh, Frozen Factory part. And I was getting genuinely stressed over, to, over how bad it was going. That was not a good run of Frozen Factory. I've been looking for you. But that kind of picked my mood back up. <laughs> we found your friend Tails first. Hey, you heard one hair on his head. Oh, don't worry. We're actually making him better. He'll be much happier as a robot. <laughs> no! Thank you, Zavok. Very cool playing you have there. Oh god, this level. <laughs> we have motion controls again. We have things that can just randomly kill you again. This is going to make up for how well the last level went. I'm warning you now. Because... Yeah. I don't think it needs to be said how little of a fan I am of the motion controls in this game at this point. And yeah. Motion controls over bottomless pits are an, is, like, an especially damning form of motion controls. Thank you. <laughs> I might have got hit, but at least it took out the enemy for me. I really should. Like, I'm seeing I'm at 79 lives, but I still have that instinct at the back of my mind that I should be farming them for when shit like that happens. <laughs> And I guess I have to fight this thing legit this time because I died. Which is annoying, but I've been through worse. I should really try and pick up that life when I die and just sort of get the life back. But, shit. <laughs> I definitely heard my top 3DS screen rattle a bit from being shook around there. I hope that doesn't hurt the hinge, because I'm, I gotta be honest, I get very protective over this 3DS, because the 3DSs that have these recording mods in them are very expensive. They were very expensive when I got mine, but they're hard to get hold of now that the 3DS itself is out of print. So yeah, I am absolutely petrified of breaking this thing. I have one backup 3DS that has, well, I have one backup new 2DS XL that has a capture mod as well, but you know, I kind of need this thing to do my job. <laughs> and even if I have a backup for equipment, I'm one of them people who I can't bear dealing with broken hardware. Like, I feel really bad if any of my shit ever stops working for any reason. Like even if it's not my fault, even if it is just like wear and tear or whatever. And the 3DS is... It, the one I'm playing on is a new 3DS XL, which it feels a lot sturdier than the base model ones, and it also feels sturdier than the like plasticky 2DS. But, you know, it's still a handheld console with a hinge on it. I'm dead. <laughs> Let's try that shit again, shall we? <laughs> Okay, I didn't die, so I'll take it. Bit off to the side, okay. That was tense. Can I hit the spring? Okay, I'm alive. Panic over, I'm alive. Not panic over, because I just remembered there's another motion control section. So motion controls with enemies that are just flying from off screen and you don't get much time to react to them. My absolute favourite, fuck the red ring. I was gonna I was jumping off to home and attack the next one, which you do have to do. Oh fuck, it's gave me this thing. This is probably gonna make this a nightmare. 
I didn't think I'd died enough for this to be a thing yet, but apparently it is. Alright. Let's try and restore some lives at the very least. Actually, I think with this thing active, it probably doesn't hurt me if I hit anything, but I'm also too scared to try. Thank you. I got uncomfortably close to that thing there, to the spike balls. I'm losing my words here, I'm just scared. <laughs> oh, let's get the checkpoint, I think I need that more than anything else right now. Again, lesson learned, don't bother kicking these ones, just let them get fat and then I can do what I need with them. I'm not a feeder, please don't accuse me of being a feeder. God, this is a tension and a half, but fucking hell, if you sit in the absolute state of like feeder communities, <laughs> that shit is like ab actually fucked up. <laughs> I like making fun of like people with funny fetishes and shit, but holy shit, these people uh, like trying to fatten up their women like they're animals or some shit. <laughs> I thought that'd hurt me, but it didn't. This did. This sent me to my doom. I didn't really want that again, but I guess I'm taking it. I'm going to try and actually play the game, even though I probably don't need to here. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit scary. Alright, on to the spring. There we go. Oh god, I'm still only like halfway through the level. Jesus Christ, I just... <laughs> I, it's kind of a bold decision to let the player see how far they are through the levels when one of the complaints this game had early on is that some of the levels go on for way too long. And I don't know whether they thought that it'd maybe ease it a little bit because like you can sort of mentally compartmentalise the different parts of the level or not. But it kind of, it does the opposite. It makes you get part way through and realise, like, hang on, there's still a lot left and I'm not exactly enjoying this level as it is. Oh god. Clouds over a pit. Clouds over a pit. Red alert. I feel like some, yep, he's going to jump out of there and start attacking. Now, I don't know if there's going to be... Oh, right, there is one of the water containers above that. That's okay. I can still salvage that, sort of. Yeah, let's keep that running. That's how the spin dash works here. I figured it out. It works basically the same as the Wii U one. You let it get a full charge, get going, and then you can kind of just press the button down again to keep it going even further. It's not that bad actually for a homing attack, uh, for a spin dash system. I've definitely I've definitely seen worse ways of controlling your speed in Sonic, I'll say that much. I'm, I'm still not that big on the idea of having a run button though. It, it kind of, it defeats the point of having like a proper momentum system. Now, I can't actually move the camera around at all in this section, so I do have to just walk back and hope I didn't walk into him. God. <laughs> Sometimes it's just too much, you know? <laughs> Alright, I've got to be quick if I go this way. Okay, I'll, I'll get back to the regular path, that'll be safer. But like... Not only do I feel like the run button kind of hurts the sense of speed that you get, but it's also not pleasant to hold down the 3DS's bumper for a considerable amount of time. It just sort of, it's not that comfortable doing this like awkward claw shape holding it down. But I still wouldn't be a fan of it in 
Like if I had a regular controller for this game, but it's made a lot more apparent that it's a problem because of this. Oh, went straight into it, lovely. <laughs> Maybe this is a slow and steady kind of dealio. Of course the death again was right near the end. It just had to be, didn't it? So, Sky Road boss. This is the last proper boss in the game before we get to like the end game area. So let's enjoy everything it has to offer. Connection quality has never improved since then, by the way. Soon you will be all alone. <laughs> like you hop on Discord with someone and you think you've both got good connections, but nah, it still butchers it anyway. Now, I remember the trick for this boss is to try and get a laser whisk. While Sonic is falling, move the thumb pad or the D-pad to move. You can also hold R right bumper to move deftly in any direction to defeat Savok. That's a word. So a normal homing attack will be blocked. So we have to block his guard by locking three targets on him. I just want to point out, this, to the best of my knowledge, is the first time it's told us that that's a mechanic. Okay, I've got the Wisp. I need to be able to actually hit him with it. Come on. Where are you? Let's try and go up. Oh, too late, I think. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, the laser, if you hit him with the laser, it takes out like half his health in one hit. And now he's doing the thing that non-aggression from Sonic Advance 3 did, which is not a uh, amazing Dimps game, I'll say that much. Yeah, okay, I've got about a quarter of his health down, so I, I suppose I can tank this and do it the long way. It's just kind of annoying that he flies off screen so quickly, but also... <laughs> it's a late game boss, he's not going to just stick around and make it easy for me. Maybe it's safer if I do just wait for the non-aggression phase. <laughs> I think it was non-aggression that did that. It might have been the Advanced 2 final boss as well. Can't remember. But Sonic Advance 2 is a very good Dimps game that I strongly recommend. There's a world of difference between the two. You're not playing nice with me, are you, sir? Alright. This phase again. There he is. Okay, down to halfway. If I actually got off that one... That was a laser, wasn't it? If I actually managed to hit the laser the first time, I probably would have beaten by now, but we work with what we've got. Probably one more round. I thought that was locked on properly, but maybe not. Okay. Where the laser's coming from. That's the part that I'm worried about with this, because it 
It seems like it's quite hard to read where the first shot with the lasers is going to come from. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't sure whether making that hit with one with no rings left was a good idea or not, but it worked out in the end. Come on, where's that capsule? Other way. A sky road down. There's still an A rank. I'm surprised I got an A rank there, given I missed the laser and I missed the, I missed out on one of the phases I could have got a good hit in too. Your friend has embarrassed me for the last time. You will be the instrument of my revenge. Yeah, it'll be fun to have your little buddy scramble you like an omelette. <laughs> the fat guy is still talking about food, because of course he is. Enjoy your last moments of free will. When we return, you will be our slave. Why would you just leave him unattended there? Like, I, I know, it's, I'm bitching about a... Sonic game having a bit of a contrived moment, but it's kind of very obvious there that it's a bit too contrived to be believable. <laughs> 